Hello, everybody. I know this is going to be a mad cut, and we're in a completely different place to where we were at the end of the last episode, but it was really bugging me that we didn't have the key for that door down the bottom end of Brightstone, Brightstone Cove, Saldora. So, being this is now is a good opportunity for us to get stuff cleared up, I thought that was what we would do. And as it turns out, uh, after we um, collected all the chests and stuff from all these drop offs near Pate, we actually need to come back and speak to him. So, we're going to exhaust his dialogue. But I thought we'd done it, because he gave us um, his armor already. But I must have missed something. Uh, so I've spoken to him. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check on Crichton as well, because I need to make sure these guys are going to appear for us. Oh, hello, you've dropped your, uh, your cuffs, apparently. It's not like I'm, I suppose, kind of a bit short on over bones, but... <laughs> this is what they're for. I could have just run back, but it's, uh, it's quicker this way. So the next thing I need to do then is go to where Creighton is. Well, where we last saw Creighton, let's make sure we... I mean, I thought I did exhaust his dialogue, but... Um, yeah, I mean, we're coming this way anyway, so let's go to the Shady Ruins. And we've got a... Uh, a fragrant branch we can use here anyway, so we can do a little bit of clear up whilst we're doing that. And then head towards the... Uh, I think it's called... I think it's just called Drunk Lake Castle, that's where we're going to be going. See if uh, our damage hurts these guys a little more now that we have this staff. Um, I'm wondering what the answer is to the... Uh, the conundrum that is resistant enemies to magic. For us specifically with the style that we've gone for. Just because uh, I'm kind of aware that in the DLC... A lot of enemies are given a lot of magic resistance. And, uh, well, we're going to need an answer for that, right? It may, it may be something like the, um, I can't remember what it's called now. Souls come out. There's like a, there's a buffing spell we could use to, uh, increase our spell damage. And there's also a ring, magic clutch ring that we could use just to add some extra punch. But, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see how that goes, I guess. So we'll, we'll come over this way. We'll deal with this area. Should be another one. Where are you? I mean, GSA is just pitiful on these, isn't it? Kind of wish there was more on these. These are these are a really cool looking race, in my opinion. Definitely could have done with like a bigger a bigger area or role, in my opinion. Is the gold one back? No. Okay, so the gold one stays dead. We've got you know, got his mate still. Come on, it's not like we're going for a boss, is it? Just did pretty good damage. So I've decided I'm going to use my uh, current spear, Aceticon. I'll probably use it. I might, I might get another soul spear. I mean, we, we have a variant of crystal. I just... I don't know. I just... I don't think crystal soul spear is the answer. That's what I think. Right, uh, right now. Um... I like, bought me some to buy MLGS, but that doesn't fix the problem we're having. It may be that we have to spec into uh, like a fire long sword. Although I suppose actually the answer could be that we just switch to a pyromancy flame in areas where spells aren't working. And I imagine that would actually work quite well. So we need to get over that way. I wonder how much of this is going to aggro me if I just run past it. It'll probably be a lot. Can I one shot you with a soul spear? Nope. <laughs> He does not care about my magic. Alright, let's see if we can just sneak around. Yeah, it seems like we've managed it. Just gonna check to see if Creighton's up here. If not, it's a homeward bone back and then we can go back to the Brightstone Cove. I suppose here is also a good point for me to uh, mention. Yeah, so he's gone. Good. For me to mention that. Um. The item that is on the branch in the boss room here. Uh, so I was wrong in that we can come back and get it later, but um, it's also useless. So basically, it is a, um, a flame butterfly that used to light your torch. The only way to get hurt, get it to come down is if you get the boss to hit the branch. 
So uh, if those are thinking I've missed it, I kind of did miss it, but it was pretty insignificant anyway. So it's up to you guys if you if you're so obsessed with every piece of loot. I mean, I usually am, but um, at least it wasn't anything anything essential that I need to go back in there and grab. So now these guys should be fighting. Hopefully. Now I feel like you can usually see a shadow from this side, but apparently not. There we go. So you have a choice whose side you want to be on. Now, I am certainly not on Pate's side. Um, so just kill one of them, it doesn't really matter. Uh, or both. <clears throat> also an option. Ring of Thorns. This is what he's after. There we go. There we go. Now, I thought he was supposed to ask for the ring, but he didn't. Interesting. Might as well come through here for the... Uh, Thingy, it's a crystal lizard, right? Where is it? There, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah, oh, no, it's gonna get away. Oh. Wait. Yeah, we got it. Where's the spider? Oh, I didn't make up. Good. Oh, now I'm gonna wish I bought something because there's gonna be tons of crap everywhere. Oh. Let's uh, reduce this, shall we? I suppose I should have also looked at where we get faint stone. Twinkle Tylite. Ooh, very nice. One of the five we need to get this to max. Oops, come on. To you. What else can I get from here? Make my life easy when I'm down there. Can I hit that? No. That sucks. We could get you. Um. Yeah. Oh, come on. through here before? I can't remember if I did. Hello, switch. Can't have done. Wow. How happy am I? I came this way now. Roll? It's a jump. What an awkward jump. Oh my god. Really is awkward. Maybe you have to like from the stairs, maybe like that. I mean, it's not the way you're gonna get the angle. There you go. That's a. If this is a mimic, I'll be laughing my ass off. No. So the ritual band. Okay, take that. Is that the casty one? Northern. Uh, Increases spell uses. No. Uh, southern. Yeah, additional achievement spells. I think it actually gives us two two more achievement slots. So quite a worthy um worthy idea for us. Through here. Hello. come down? No. Good thing is it just means we don't have to get ambushed by all this. Oops. Really? What was that even hitting? 
<laughs> Such a long shot. Let's get that. Uh, mid first, if you spot us, should be fine. Come on then. Let's have you. Get you now, come. You as well, please. Come on. Can I get you through the door? It'd be great if we could get you under the door. Come on. <laughs> nah, it's not gonna let it happen, is it? That would have been hilarious, though. There we go. Come on, then. Interesting that Creighton is from here, then. I don't really know what that means, right? But he must have, like, dealings here to have had a stash. Well, they're also interesting. He doesn't warn you about the traps. I wonder if he was expecting you to die. And one of these chests is also trapped. So just be aware. There's no mimic, though. Yeah, which one's trapped? Is it this one? I think it explodes. No, it's not you. Grave gauntlets. Get the way! Oh my god! Press the wrong button, I pressed A instead of dodge. Where is he? Where is he? He said that, so he did set that trap for us. Did I come back? No. Okay. So at this point then, to, uh, to leave the area, we, um, we ha you can either go all the way back to where Duke's Death Frazier was, or you can use a Homeward Bone. I'm just double checking, there's nothing else for me to, uh, to look at before I leave. think there is. Really no thing. Those grave gloves are worth be getting. Let's have a look. Grave gloves. Don't know what order we're in. Vanguard's run lake. There's Creighton's chain. Like nice stats. Especially compared to Pate. Such a similar weight as well. You get that extra poise on there. Engraved gauntlets. Fine info. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. Unreliable, but interesting. I imagine that doesn't work with, like, um, spells. Can you imagine a uh, crystal source bit being crit? <laughs> be hilarious. Okay, so, uh... Let's leave this joint. I think that pretty much catches us up with everything. So we've got, got Pate and Creighton caught up. Hugo does his job. We've done Dukes, we've done Crystal Source Spear. And so next up then is going to be us going to... Ooh. Ruined Fork in the Road. Still unsure what the path of... Uh, us becoming ungodly powerful is going to be... It's got to be the, it's got to be the fantasy as a sorcerer, right? Maximum power. But, uh, let's continue forward. I believe it should be this left-hand one where, where the Cyclops was. Yeah, where the dirty little rat thing is. Hang on. Damaged over. I don't know. I'm still deciding in my head. Should we go dark or should we go full magic? I mean, I mean, has been full magic. I'm just worried about some of the DLC, particularly um, what's his name, Alon. It's going to be really painful. This guy still isn't going on all that easily. It's 
so it's diff and, and, and I don't mean easily as in difficulty, I mean easily as in... It doesn't appear to be taking that much damage. One of those things in there, in the pool. I can't remember, I think it was. I know there was an item down there. But anyway, now we should be able to get past this. I think. I think it's this one. If not, we have to have a cup. I can, I can remember where we have to go, but I think it's here we go. It should be like a... Uh, A shrine thing. We'll do symbol of the king. So this one actually wants the ring. It's not here. Okay. Now I can't remember. Are there three ways from here? I'm sure it's this way. Are there three exits from this bit? Did I miss explain it before? I could have done. Yeah, there are three. Okay, so it's this way. This way! Haha! <laughs> Still be fucking with a funny run. Hello. Serious dislike for your run, dude. Ouch. Be mind. Shield is what was uh, keeping you alive, is it? Okay, so, uh, quite a while for the next boss fight, I think, actually. I feel like there's an item hidden in some of these trees somewhere. Hmm, <laughs> have a double check, but, uh, yeah, I feel like there should be an item on this left-hand side somewhere. Hello, you. Nice try. I was going to say there's about to be something behind me. <laughs> no! And something behind that. Ho ho ho! Just about clips you, that was lucky. Yeah, there's mine. Thank you. And here's mine. Twinkling Tarnite. Oh, two Twinkling Tarnite. Wow. That's almost worth using a bonfire setting to get two more. Then we can actually get the uh, the staff to plus five, right? Because we only need two more, two more Twinkling Tarnites for that. But it'll come on its own, so it's fine. Although I didn't actually look at what your faint stone is, did I? Let's have a look at this. GS2 Faint Stone. Let's have a look here. Uh, location. Smith's of Stone, Dragon Shrine. Does first first forest contraption. After going up the ladder, will unlock a path below it. The chest containing one and a twin. Get a purchase from Stone Trader Cloan after having kings. Okay, so we could maybe go and look for one. It does a Faris. Now that I have more Faris Lockstones and it's up the ladder. Okay. Let's let's pro progress a little bit and then maybe we'll have a go at that. More damage is clearly required because uh it's just not it's just not hitting like I want it to hit right now. I'm adding some uh God damn, stay still. Leave me alone. It's not fair. I can't lock onto you. I can lock onto you, mate, though. Haha. <laughs> no. You sons. Stop that. Nope. Can't believe just how resistant these guys are, man. Long sword. Give me that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go around up this way, right? Yeah, here we go. And this is where... Uh, I, I think you actually... I can't remember if you need to have the actual souls on you. It wants you to have defeated the uh, the three main bosses, so to get past this point then you need to have defeated uh, Duke of Frasier, Iron King, and the Rotten. Or have one more than one million uh, soul memory. Now I don't know if that actually goes up for New Game Plus. Because if it doesn't, that technically means you can do New Game Plus really, really quickly. I just can't remember. Where has it taken me?
No, 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 no. This is DLC land. DLC land. Let's go, wait. It's got like a, a hidden cat thing in it, and I just don't think we're in a position where we can actually kill that right now. Uh, so actually, we need to get past it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And it's this way. No, that's the way we. Where we can. Oh, I remember now. Let's look at the other side. Yeah, it's the way we can. Yeah. The door's the same. Huh? Yeah, they are the same. <laughs> That's quite confusing. Yeah, I think we go this way. That should be the... Where is the ruin? It's definitely this way. We've got enemies over there. And then, I think there's an enemy down here. Guarding nothing. Remember rightly? Have you reappeared just because I left the area? Can't tell if he has or not. Hopefully he doesn't come all the way around and uh, get him from behind because that'll be painful. Got you though, come on, quickly. You gotta be quick, let's get the heavy on. Because I've just got no choice at this point, have I? <clears throat> right, you. Damn it, should have waited for my stamina to recharge. Gotcha. You're in my sights now, I'm gonna keep staggering, it's fine. Um, all good for now. Human FG. Yeah, now we're getting towards where the castle is. We should see the Emerald Herald up here. And I think she moves up here permanently as well once she moves. So if you kind of want wanted to stay in the village, don't come up here just yet. I think that's the case. I could be wrong. Uh, something's going to roll down here. Isn't it? Ouch. Shooty souls. <laughs> that first one must have been a headshot then. Oh, come on. Supposed to be a, ro a rolly, bouldery trap. Apparently not. You're going down. Bye. Yep, I'm nearly at the castle. Quite cool, actually. This is this is where the game really begins, right? It starts looking really impressive all the time. In my opinion. Oh, hello, you. Oh, just dodged me. I thought there was a bonfire close to here. This castle is isolated. But nonetheless, you must forge on. To bring an end to your journey and mine. Uh why do I think there's a bonfire on the way here? This isn't definitely should definitely should be. Statues are alive, so be careful. Should be able to hit it, actually. That's rather annoying at the top of here, where enemies continually respawn. I'm trying to remember exactly what we're going to do. I know there's a switch we've got to pull and some items up there to collect as well. Um, I feel like we've missed a bonfire. There's, there should have been one. Somewhere. I feel like it was on here. Why did... Oh, no matter. I guess we'll just continue going forward. <laughs> Sometimes my gut feeling just isn't right. I kind of wanted to go and get that faint stone. I 
25 minutes. I can't really leave it here. Can I? We've got to get to the bonfire. I can't. I can't leave. I can't leave you guys hanging. Let's get rid of you. So we're gonna have the. Uh, oh come on. These armored guys running at us permanently in this area. So we're gonna have a really bad time here because we just don't have the casts to put up with it. Now I think we want to come over to the right first because if I remember rightly, there's a chest we're just gonna quickly collect. No real time for a, uh, a mimic check. Check there's nothing behind here. I feel like there might be, but no, we're good. Where's these soldiers at? They're supposed to keep coming. And we're supposed to do that. And that's why they keep coming. Where's the other one? There we go, come on. need to kill them within range of the, uh, I think that one's done it, in range of the golems, and that allows that to happen. I don't think that opens this game, we have to go to the left. Completely positive we go to the left. I'll just watch this in case I'm wrong. Oh, come on, leave me know. really don't have the spells. Oh, it does open the front door. It's done something to the front door, there we go. Why did I think you didn't come in through the front then? Memory is betraying me. I know we can talk to the ghost, and he actually sells us stuff. Who are you? And by who's coming? Yeah, let's get through this. What does he sell us? I can't remember what he sells us. Yeah. So, a few interesting things, not anything that we need. Or maybe those. Tempting. <laughs> Tempting. I know it's come back and get some at least. Seven anyway. Um This is where the king is. No, where the throne is, not the king. Not really much in here right now. Yeah, really not. What should do here? Where is the bonfire? Let's go to the way on the left. Where my uh, my gut is screaming at me that we should be going towards. I'm gonna have to use one of these because, well, <laughs> just don't have enough left. Go around this way, and it should be there. Yeah, there. I think the enemies spawn from the other way as well. No? Where is it? Why? Why not? Why is it wrong? Sure it's down here. I'm sure we we'll down there for like a bonfire and we're supposed to see like... Loads of um, brass sentinel guys. Careful here because that's alive. Whoops. Ouch. They're not quite so defensive anymore. And we are well over the time that I want to be at right now. I'm just obsessed with this left side right now. Plant bone dust is nice, thank you. Are these all alive? I can't remember. No. That one's going to be surely. No. That one is. 
Come on. GSA is in a few there. That's good. Can't get through there. By the look of it. Whoa. I'm strong just like for not letting me uh, get that lock on. Sian's helmet, any more? I mean, you were kind of an obvious one. Yeah, man. Give me the bonfire. Uh, yeah, we don't open that door. Just got a bad feeling about everything. <laughs> it's a trap. Oh, look at that. Aha, this is what I was thinking about. Aha, we're right there. There we are, we made it. <clears throat> to here anyway. Uh, so, I don't think we can go in there yet, but that there is actually where the last boss fight's going to be. Interestingly enough. Uh, this area, he this room here, uh, is... I suppose... doesn't have to be hellish. But it's kind of hellish. Um, basically, each of these doors can be opened by defeating the enemies in front of them. And I think that one, that one, and the, the first two on the right all have a Ruined Sentinel in. Now, what I would probably advise doing is opening one, arming it to death. Opening the other one, arming it to death. Uh, that one there... Uh, we should see the dark guy in. And I think it's his last place. And he gives us like some memories to do. Also, we've got to activate these two guys here to open. Oh, we've got to open. But I take those two guys to open. I think it's like a big gate or something. And then that one there is the path of progression. But anyway, less of that. We're going to see if we can't find this. Uh, this faint stone in Doors of Pharos. Be here. And apparently it's up the ladder. I should still be in the in the covenant, so we should be fine to just go up there. I don't think I left. It's way for me to check. Be in here, right? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> well, if it's not getting attacked, it's because I left. But I don't think I did. Or did I for that other guy's covenant? My name. Oh, it's only going to take a, two, take a couple of minutes just to get through this first bit anyway, where the to where the ladder is. Hmm? What's just that? Just fire a thing at you and I know. Won't I? I mean, they'd have already aggroed by now if, uh, if I wasn't a part of the Covenant, see? So according to the wiki, it's over this way for a faint stone. Another damage boost. And crazily enough, it also gives us another Twinkling Tarnite, which really makes me want to go and do Duke's the Afraider again, just so I can get the Twinkling Tarnite from over there, from the Crystal Desert. So we can get plus five and magic on this. So it says, Does of Pharos. First Pharos contraption, after going up the ladder, would unlock a path below. This. Down here? Somewhere? This. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's not a mimic. 
to the exact same thing. It's doing boom. Boom. I think it's going to be lovely. Um, I don't want to waste another hammer bone. I feel like I haven't bought many, so it's like I haven't. I, I don't have many spare. But I definitely want to go and shoot something now, and then uh, upgrade and shoot some, shoot the same thing again. Let's go and see McDuff. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's a long episode now, anyway. It's going to be forty minutes at this point. It's fine. But uh, anything that's going to help us make lighter work of enemies is going to be good just because of how quickly we burn through spells now. So we want to go Lost Bastille. McDuff. Shoot, dog. It's probably going to do like stupid damage, but the percentage is the, is the important thing. Right. It's probably going to be a strong percentage as well. So we're looking at 378 on the Great Solar Array. Well then, I go good. Three seven eight. Infuse. That must that must be like the only guaranteed one per round then, apart from the ones you can buy from the stone trade, I suppose. But it's after we get the king's ring. Uh, and it's gonna be you. Yeah, because the only other thing you do is dark. So doing this is gonna gonna be nice. Yeah, flame. So three seven eight two. It's going to be over 400, right? So it's probably going to be like a 10% increase in damage, which will be massive. Yeah, it is pretty close to 10% as well. That's significant, in my opinion. Happy with that. 406. Gonna have this hit like a... Well, quite hard. <laughs> and Soul Spear is probably going to be pretty, pretty messy. Go on, go on. Heavy. 500. And Soul Spear for... 900. <laughs> yes. Better. Right, so let's go and have a quick look at... Drang Lake Castle, shall we? Let's try to see if I'm right about this first left door. Being a brass sentinel dude. Not that way. This way. I should probably look it up a bit. How much? How many of these even activate? Here we go. So we want to do you right in front of the door. That's how this area works. Let's just have a look. Now the the difficulty here is going to be trying to make sure you are controlling where that one is, so that you can open the one door. All right, and then brass sentinel. All right. You don't want to go opening other doors until this one's dead. Because I really don't think you want to be facing like four or five of these at once. And I'm aware that it's completely doable, just... That is just messy. I suppose if I'd have gone heavy, it would have done way more damage than that. Uh, the good thing is, 3k souls ago, Ruin Helm. So now that you know how this door work, uh, this room works, I am gonna slowly creep around, open the doors, and kill all the enemies in here. I know it takes a while. You guys don't have to do it the same way as me, but um, again, this this whole limited cast thing is <laughs> is is being uh, well. It just feels like it's being quite brutal, and there's quite a lot of enemies for us to have to get through after this room as well. So um, I need to make sure that we have. Way to get around that. So I shall see you guys once that's all done shortly.